Ladies and gentlemen, Side Strafe back with Star Wars Battlefront. And today, playing some droid run. Oh crap. Gotta watch out here. About one of those. And then a little bit of a <laughs> pinch there. I'm using the DL44, which I'm not oh, necessarily amazing with. I have my moments with it. I'll have like a great game with it, and then I'll have a terrible game with it. But um, I figured I would further investigate it. See if it truly is overpowered. I think my issue with it is... Probably that it has too much range for a pistol. I think that's the biggest issue. Alright, you're getting shot from across the way over there. Oh, hello. Watch it. Taking too much fire there. This thing with explosive shot, though, is just, I mean, like the Death Star. Portable Death Star, pretty much. That may have hurt just a little bit. Potentially a tickle, but I'm thinking pain. Um, Alright, so we are defending this. We've got Alpha Bravo. Not sure what that guy's up to. That was close. He got me down to four health. Alright. They're coming around here. Homing shot and... Um, jump pack. I don't know if I like using those in close quarters. Frack me, man. I'm surrounded. Oh crap. They've seized control of the droid. All right. Let's see if we can do something here. Uh-oh. Acquiring a droid now. Oh. Oh man, you got to be kidding me. How do these guys keep getting smart rockets? All right. We need to fight more on these objectives. I keep getting surrounded. I'm wanting to tackle one of the droids, but unfortunately, I keep running into situations where the enemy is spawning on me. The droids are tricky because I think you have to stand perfectly still to activate them most of the time. Whereas with drop zone with the pods you can kind of move around them but you see the damage that this thing is doing at range oh crap he's got a rocket again you gotta be kidding me Let's see if we can get this power up eh, always a blaster cannon I generally prefer getting the uh, the turrets or the uh, the droids. Oh crap! Bad timing. Okay, but we still manage there. Holy smokes! Droid run master. I'll take that one to the bank. We'll go ahead and do one more match, but uh, depending on the map, we may need to switch out our weapon. Uh, I find that I do pretty well with pistols in close quarter environments like this one. Uh, obviously, the next map is also going to be small, but if it has more open areas, then I might want to uh, either go back to my E11 or use something that is a little bit more rapid fire. All right, looks like we're on Tatooine. Normally, if this was Team Deathmatch or Drop Pod... I would 
kind of skirt the the outer edges of it just because you kind of have some uh, hill uh, cover as well as some cargo containers that you can hide behind. But since it's droid run, we might have to be all over the map. I'm thinking same hand but E11 here just because it'll give me a bit more flexibility. If I don't feel that I'm doing well with it, then I might switch to something else. Maybe... Maybe DH-17. <laughs> what are these guys? I often wonder if DICE knew what they were doing when they decided to allow emotes as well as the uh, the player icons that get showcased at the end of matches. Which, by the way, I generally remove from videos unless they're decent. So, if you ever wonder why you never see those in my videos, it's for reasons that I'm sure you understand. Oh, you got to be kidding me with these smart rockets again. I have no idea how these guys are always getting them. I never get them. Unless... Maybe... I don't know. Uh, and that was a terrible spawn. So, we've already started this match out perfectly. Let's see if we can... Uh, reclaim our... Kill streak. From the last match. I think sometimes you can kind of see the difference between using uh, the DL44 and, and pretty much anything else. Don't know why I threw that grenade there. Don't try that at home. I'm going to put that there, that prox bomb. We apparently are... Uh-oh. Yeah, usually uh, fighting two of these guys that potentially both have DL-44s. Not not great. Alright, well, so, you know, you can see this is the next match. We're not doing very well here. Frag out. Dump everything. Uh, Alright, that guy's not paying too much attention to me. Jeez. All right, they're moving together. Um, it, it's funny because I feel like we dominated them last match. And now We've we are job. absolutely failing. So it's, it's a curious situation here. But I generally don't like leaving matches because... I see that guy behind me. Alright. I dumped that uh, shield behind me as I was running to avoid... Notice how I was kind of using this thing here as cover. As I was strafing left and right. The guy, w the guy that's in the scout armor with the DL44 is a pretty good player. You can tell that, that what he does. And instead of actually engaging when he knows he can't win, he jumps out of the situation with his pack. So. He does perhaps worry about his kill-to-death ratio. I'm not sure. Um, that guy got really lucky. I, I Some guy ran right by me and... I should have I should have lit up my explosive shot. Hmm. See, this is one of those situations where I feel like maybe the E11 is holding me back. But I'm not sure. That's not good. We're taking the droid. Let's see if we can get that. I'll cover you, buddy. Personal shield is generally the better selection for, for capture games. Um, 
when you're trying to cap objectives, but... We've lost all momentum. Hold the last droid. I've been experimenting with explosive shot lately. Contact right. They're gaining control of the last power droid. Counter. Incoming enemies. Well, now I have a smart rocket. Stop them from capturing the droid. I was wondering if that would work, and it did. Oh! Crap, take cover! Oh, he's right above us. We might be in trouble here. Holding the line, but man, my health is low! Dang it, he had a shotgun. I knew it was the guy, the bald guy, the freaking helmetless stormtrooper. I was like, that guy has a shotgun, I'm about to die. Might have potentially, uh... had a chance to uh, melee him, I'm not sure. Switched over to this pistol here. Let's see if I can do a little bit better with it. Grenade prediction. It's the guys with the DL-44 that I worry about the most. And maybe the shotgun guy. I will cover you. Oh, frack me, that bowcaster, which I think is pretty much insta-death if you get hit by it. That was not exactly what I was looking for. They're trying to gain control of a droid. Stop them. Oh, let's see. Can't exactly use that the way I want to. They have all the droids. Ah, frack me! I just didn't have enough health. You know, I've been thinking about going with that trait that um, that heals you faster, that uh, has faster health regen, but I don't know. I never know where to use that on these small modes, so I just thought I would dump it over there. Let's see if we can maybe grab Bravo. Oh. I think he wanted to uh, have relations with my grenade. Little bit of uh, covering fire there with the barrage ability. That DL44. I think it's. I think it's. If I had to nerf it, which you know I like to use it too sometimes, but if I had to do something to it, I'd probably dumb down its range. The DH-17 is pretty mean. I do find, though, that this game just becomes pretty much a pistol frenzy. Alright, our buddy got him, but now we're losing that. We're taking possession of the droid. Try to cover my friend here. Alright. It's that scout trooper that... Oh crap! Ah, oh, nuts! I had the wrong weapon out. That guy came back. I didn't really expect him to return to the scene of the crime. He's good. He's good, man. He's, he's really... He likes to move around a lot. He's... He's mobile. Yeah, 
Yeah, that shotgun, man. That's going to be the end of you. Look at that. One shot. Well, I think I had like 70-something health. So I'm sure that that was part of the problem. But I don't know if he got me with a headshot to finish off the rest or what. I'll cover him. And I knew that. I saw it. I saw the smart rocket. And, and yeah, I knew that was going to be the end of it. Well, you know what I have? I have a droid. Which are great for these modes. All right, you guys are grabbing that. Securing final droid, now. droid is doing some work. All right, we have this. Oh, crap. Ah, that was unfortunate. The spawns in this game on the small maps are definitely rough. And I don't know how much uh, invulnerability you have when you spawn or how long it lasts, so. We're taking the last droid. Can't make that thing work. I'm not using my explosive shot enough. I need to. Oh! I have no idea what happened. I killed myself apparently because I had explosive shot and I shot him point blank range. <laughs> Makes sense. Oh, we did it. Good job, team. I was afraid. I couldn't get to the objectives enough in this match. Um... But that was that was a pretty good match. Uh, the Imperials put up a good fight, good play by the enemy team there. Uh, they had some really good players. There's no denying they had some fantastic players on their side. I could see how that one guy, the guy in the scout trooper armor, he was jumping around like a maniac. He knew how to move. He knew how to like hop around objects and things like that. And and that's what you got to do, man. You just got to keep moving, strafing left and right. Just just go crazy. Uh, stay alive. But you know, well fought. Good job to both teams. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, really hope that you've enjoyed today's look at Star Wars Battlefront. This has, of course, been Droid Run. Don't forget that when you are playing these modes, the objectives are priorities, and your kills, while enjoyable, aren't going to win you the match. So with that said, once again, thank you so much for joining me, and may the Force be with you.